So I just released a course over at nativescripting.com and it's called Native Script with Angular Web Application Conversion. And although it might sound complex, what this actually does is it looks at making a similar web application with the same Angular code base. So not only do we make a native script app, but we also make a web app using Angular. So on the front end, we have Angular Material and on the mobile app, we either have an iOS view or an Angular Material design view. To do that, we use the Team Maestro Angular Native Seed. And if we take a look at the files here, you'll see that we have a home module.tns.ts and a home module.ts. Anything that has the .tns inside of the file name will be specific to native script only. Outside of that, .ts files are specific to the web application. And you will find that we can then create these two applications that marry side by side from this singular code base. And this is really important when it comes to making consistent mobile apps that also have a web counterpart. Because one of the main reasons that people use frameworks like Ionic is so that they can make that application that's both cross-platform on the web and of course on the device. But you'll find it by using native script and the team Maestro Seed is that of course you can have a native application with still having that web counterpart using services and obviously providers. Now, one of the main reasons that people use frameworks such as Ionic is so that they can have a mobile web application and at the same time, that app can be deployed to a website as something like a PWA. Now, you can take these same principles using the native script side of things, using the Team Maestro Seed, and that's what we talk about inside of this course. So by the end of the course, you'll have made an app that not only works on the mobile device, but also works on the web too. Another thing that we look at inside of the course is things like using native and web toasts. So if we simply play a little bit of this lecture. So here we have another occasion where you can see that, for example, we use the Angular Material toast here on the web. And for native script, we actually use the specific native plugin for a toast. So all in all, it's a course that is really exciting because at the end of the day, you'll be able to make applications for the web and at the same time, you'll be able to make those native mobile apps. You'll be able to take advantage of the power that a native app does provide. And at the same time, you'll be able to deploy these things straight to the web. So that's over at nativescripting.com and you can find a link to that inside of the description of this video. If you are interested in learning NGRX, I do have an NGRX course over at nativescripting.com as well. Now at this point in time, it does use the previous version of NGRX store and NGRX effects, but I'm looking to upgrade this in the near future. I simply wanted to release the web app conversion course first, and we'll go back to upgrading the NGRX store and effects for Angular version five. So all of that's over at nativescripting.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you do purchase, I'll see you inside. Oh, this you crazy mother...